<laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Uh, I got an idea for you, though. If you... Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna get through that wall by banging your head up against it. Just a bit of a heads up. He had a heads up because he was using his head. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, very funny, Falcon. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're doing something here a little bit different today in that we're checking out a game that came out a while back now. Um, if you are aware or not, State of the K was originally a 360 title, and then eventually it made its way over to PC. And after that, we got some DLC, and then we also got the Year One Edition, which is what I have a little bit right here. The Year One Edition. I picked this up on sale at some point you know how the story goes right you see a game on sale you figure hey I'm gonna buy this and you never wind up playing it and that's what happened with State of Decay which is actually really surprising because you know me I'm a sucker for zombie and survival games that's exactly what this game is so I'm really surprised I never got around to playing it but during E3 this year they actually announced State of Decay 2 and that kind of got me excited even though I've never played the first one so I figured you know what this is all the incentive I finally need to check this game out. So I figure since I was going to play it for myself and we're not really shy about zombie content on the channel, I might as well record maybe an episode or two of myself playing. And if it's something you guys want to see, I could keep it around the channel. But if it's something you're not interested in, I could just go ahead and drop it. It's not really a big deal. I'll just go and play it from my own accord anyway. But if it's something you guys want to accompany along with me, then that'd actually be really great. I'm going to be playing the State of Decay Breakdown DLC though, which is essentially a harder sandbox version of the regular State of the K game without the story, I should note. So it's kind of like just a straight up sandbox survival experience. Lifeline is what I've heard is like a DLC story and it's kind of has like a lot of mixed reviews. So Breakdown seems to be the one that's gonna really challenge me. And since I mentioned I'm not proficient at this game at all, if you guys are familiar with it, please let me know some tips and tricks to look forward to because you know, I don't necessarily wanna get wrecked over here too early on, but I heard it's a good possibility you might get overrun. So without further ado, let's get into the breakdown here and we will talk more about this as the game starts up here. So we do a start new game. And yes, that is fine. Let's go for it. So it should be noted while this thing over here loads. Um, you do start off with a randomly designated person. Okay. Get clear of any zombies. This game just drops you straight up into a scenario, doesn't it? Uh, might want to run because we have two zombies after me. Um, you get you start off with a randomly designated person. And then as you progress in this mode... Okay. Hey, you guys are quite fast here. Um, as you progress with this mode... Um, you unlock future characters with different abilities for future runs. Nothing's That's what I... Never easy, is it? I guess we're moving on, huh? It's for the best. We're not the only survivors around, you know. There's a few other groups scattered around the valley. We're in a valley. Okay. So there's other people to unlock over time, is what I've heard. Um, alright, so... Let's just say maybe that should be our goal. Let me highlight that. Luckily, like, the controllers are really easy to kind of get used to. You, you play a... Open world survival game of some kind, you basically already kind of got it down here. So, you can hide in bushes, it does seem. This worries me not being able to see in front of me. Let's um, get out of here. Just Oh, hey. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Uh, I got an idea for you, though. If you... Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to get through that wall by banging your head up against it. Just a bit of a heads up. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Let's stop messing around. He had a heads up because he was using his head. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, very funny, Falcon. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe we should come in here and check out what's happening, get some resources. No, you guys can actually keep that one. Search nearby towns for other survivors. That's what I'm kind of headed to, but currently we have um a scenario here. Um, There's cars in this game as well. Is that a... There's a horde over there. You see that? Yeah, I might want to avoid that. There is um, vehicles in this game, and considering we have to go kind of far, that's a horde right there, huh? Cool. Um, considering we have to go kind of far, maybe finding a vehicle would be in our best interest over here, because with a horde behind over there, you're not—you're gonna come to life, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Fucking zombie! I know. Oh, they already saw me. Just let me know when you find a good place to settle down. I'll come and meet you there. Must be nice, Zilly. Oh yeah, you go out there and risk your life while I hang out over here until you got something nice and steady fixed up for us. Hey, we have a football field over there. How about that? How you doing, sir? Oh, that's a good stealth kill. I like that. Alright, so that's down. Um, preferably, can we also stealth kill your friend over here? Oh, oh now that is how you do it. Alrighty. So I'm going to figure that your weapons have a degradation system here. So maybe trying to get these stealth kills is probably the best thing we can be doing. What I do know about this game that I found really interesting is that when you're not playing the game, 
the game actually runs in the background. So if you say like don't play for a couple days and come back, if you have like a location set up and survivors, they will actually require food and they will also have zombie attacks and stuff like that. So it sounds amazing to me on paper because that's how it should be. But at the same time, I know I might be singing a different tune when I come back like a couple of days from now and find that my entire community has been ransacked or something. So right now I like the idea of it, but I'm pretty sure down the line I'll probably be just cursing to the heavens about that. But it's a pretty interesting mechanic for sure, at least. It kind of incentivizes you to come back and check on your community without like being gone for too long here. There's a grocery store over here. Blaine's Grocery. That's kind of like my ideal place to go to a zombie. You know, like if there's ever like, you know, I always talk with this, like I used to talk with a couple of friends about this. Like, what do you do in a zombie invasion? Mall or grocery store? That's always my main ones. Grocery store because you... Oh, fuck, there's a horde over there. Let's um continue this discussion after I'm safe here. Okay. Can I possibly kill this guy? Without that guy noticing and then without the horde noticing as well? Can I use that shopping cart over there like jackass and like run these guys over? Oh, there's two hordes. <coughs> Don't make too much noise, Falcon. Just bring them down already. Stop it. Stop, stop. Nobody notice? Nobody notice? Everything's fine? Jeez. I pick quite the area. Two hordes on every side of the street. It's like a... It's a zombie convention right now. Resources? Okay, this is good. The location isn't too far from here, at least. So... Oh, hey. How you doing there, Red Eyes? Zombie. That's the uh, new Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Instead of the Red Eyes Red Dragon, or Red Eyes Black Dragon, that was Joey Wheeler's big game card. Well, you don't think I watched Yu-Gi-Oh growing up as well? I watched that shit on WB when it was still big, and they censored it completely. You guys remember that episode where the guards from... Oh, hey. You are dead, right? You've been crushed. Yeah. You guys remember when the guards came up to, like, stop the, 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 I guess, Yugi's group? And they stopped them by pointing their fingers at them? Did you guys know that scene was actually edited, and they were actually holding guns at the kids in the Japanese version? Yeah. And then, you know, you know, the U.S. version, they got edited into, like, just pointing fingers at them, which made it seem really silly. But, you know, you can't show guns in the U.S. Uh, not necessarily, like, a pro-gun person myself, or anti-gun, I just really don't have an opinion about it. But like, I don't know, I just really, what I bothers me is just censorship, you know? Um, so we're searching, oh good, I think I alerted somebody here, found nothing, good. That was worth my time. Zombie, please. Now. Oh, that's a, that's a army zombie. Can you loot him and take his helmet? Why? Well, I just crushed his helmet, apparently. Um, it should hey, be noted. Come here. No, shut up. Don't don't call anybody over, you idiot. There's nobody with you. It should be noted. I can search faster by holding down like the trigger, I believe. But that does have a chance of causing noise, which is what happened with this one just now when I was in there and that zombie came running. I made noise because I was holding down the faster thing. What the hell is that? Improvised suppressor. Ooh, cuts down gun noise. I think I want that. But I'll I also want the Twinkies. Okay. Oh, that's where I'm headed. What, what is that called? Is that the Alamo? It's the Alamo. Okay. That's where I'm headed to. Which is right where the zombie horde is at. There's a guy just walking about over there. Well, it's probably a zombie. That or he had a really, really tough night. <laughs> He's trying to get home. Where am I? Oh, I shouldn't have drank that much. You know, I've been there my, myself, friend, many times. Wake up in the middle of nowhere, and you're like, where the hell am I? Why am I here? These aren't my clothes! <laughs> no, that hasn't happened. Yet. One day, maybe. Alright. Hey. I wish I could stop doing that. Let's, um... Yeah, we're here. Okay. How you doing, buddy? A zombie horde alerted, why? No, I don't want to be a part of this. Get me inside. Help! They're banging in the door, I think. Hey! Yes, I want to join! Looks like oh, nice. Save me from the horde! What just happened? Oh, we're safe now. <laughs> okay. I figured that maybe, like, joining them, it would reset something. So, this is now my, my community here. Um, influence 100. Population. Hey, we run into some trouble. They're in a tough spot. 
Can you give them an escort? Stranger in trouble could use your help. Up there, stranger in trouble. And over here we have survey the area. Climb up and survey the area. Oh, that's going to be a survey point. I do believe if I get up there, I'll be able to kind of like point out stuff in the map for future purposes. Like, you know, where's like, you know, pretty cool interesting spots. So yeah, without the backpack, I'd only carry four. This place is really nice. But with all the zombies out there, I'm worried we might not be able to hold out here forever. Okay, Could cool. you keep an eye out for a large vehicle of some kind, like an RV or a bus? Something we could pack everybody into and head out if things got bad? Find a bus? Even if we never use it, I think I'll feel better if I know we've got a plan B. Hey, you know what? I like the way you think. Sure, I'll keep an eye out for a bus. Um, let's go, I guess. So, we have two things to do. Rescue mission and then survey. I think we go to the survey unless I could find a vehicle. If we could find a car, I'll just drive to the rescue now. I don't think it's timed or anything, maybe, to my knowledge. Oh no, I don't know much about this game. There's a vehicle right here. Okay. So maybe we go to this person to save first. And they could join me. And we become friends, and then he could back me up in combat. I like my idea a lot. Let's get this vehicle and get the hell out of here. Come on! No, 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 don't don't come on anybody. Just get in the fucking car. So, obviously, you are not a, um, hybrid, so you probably make a lot of noise when you're driving, huh? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. He's driving here. Zombie got run over. Oh, it's right there in front. Okay, okay, hold up. Turn around, turn around. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah, it's actually better if you come me, because then I could just run... Well, I mean, I wanted to run you over. We got you. Okay. Let's let's do this shit. I'm Oh! So much for stealth. Bring your ass down. Yo, Cash, I'm here to save you, dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm trying to back you up. But things are happening. Alright, you're safe. Let's go, let's go! I'm done here. Alright, we got some trust gained by helping Cash. Cool. You leveled up, press D-pad up to open up your journal and view your skills and abilities on the survivor page. Alrighty, so... Uh, this is me, I'm Lucas Outlaw. I'm a psychopath. Oh, that's that's comforting. How's this? Food resource? Food jars! Load the rucksack? I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. What rucksack? Where does the rucksack come from? I kind of like the idea of it, but I have no idea where it came from. Cool. Well, I have a rucksack now. Call for scavengers. Establish outpost. Relocate home base. Prepper's pack. Oh, sweet. So the more influence I get, I get like summon abilities, I guess, like maybe? Call for scavengers to help me out. Establish an outpost. That's actually pretty cool. Alrighty, nice. I like that. But um, right now we have other stuff to do, so let me break this open. Yeah, more medicine, cool. I'm liking this a lot, like, uh, I don't know what much what I'm doing, but I'm really enjoying the gameplay so far, and the mechanics do seem pretty interesting. So are we done here? Anything upstairs, maybe? Is there an upstairs? No upstairs. We got this place locked down. Nice. So, hey, let's go, dog. I got a car over here. Oh, you have a nice car, too! Oh, shit. Zambro's over there. Lots of Zambros. There's a horde actually coming this way. Um, please don't alert their horde. Let's go this way. Ooh, now this is some speed. Oh, baby. Yeah. All right. I'm almost home. We'll crack open a cold one for you. How do I put this bitch in right away? I want this car forever. Like forever. Is there a parking for myself over here? I'm gonna be that asshole and I'm gonna park in the handicap spot. I'm a dick, I know. Ah, stop. Don't don't ruin the car. Don't ruin the car, Falcon. Stop it. You drunkard. Alright, let's go. Hey, close close behind though, huh? Yeah. Come on, Cash. Use your head here, dog. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Yeah, you know, stuff. 
Hey, good. Well, I got some more influence. I got some more food. We have no medical supplies, apparently, and fuel, which is something we should probably look forward to, I guess. Um, I guess we'll wrap it up here for this episode, huh? Everything looks pretty good so far. I'm enjoying it. I don't know much what I'm doing, but that's where you guys come in. If you guys want to keep this around as a series, let me know. I'm going to record one more episode here today, and then um, I will see if you guys are interested, and we'll keep it around. If not, then, you know, no big problem. I'll just drop it from the channel. I'll play it in my own time. Not a big deal. But if you guys want to keep it around, um, let me let me know some tips as well, like some things I should look forward to, because, again, as I mentioned, I'm kind of like Rrr, about what I'm doing, but I'm enjoying it, so that's a good part anyway. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It. Leave a thumbs up. I'll have one more episode up, and then we'll make a judgment call whether it sticks around or not. I will catch you next time.